Personality tests are kind of fun. If you were a car, what kind of car would you be? What is your inner animal? What color represents you? Are you more like earth, air, fire, or water? Some tests have been around for thousands of years. Some are the product of careful research and mathematical models, and some are hastily thrown together just in time to pop up on your favorite social networking site. If you believe in being born under a lucky star, the primacy of heredity, or unconscious secrets, personality tests might be just what you're looking for. They're not difficult to take or terribly expensive. But if you believe in free will, you're more likely to see personality testing as unimportant and a waste of money and time. Critics charge that these tests take advantage of our desire to understand ourselves better and our cognitive bias of seeing us as the center of our worlds. They divide us into categories, types, and pigeonholes. They make us less likely to try to change, improve, or conquer our fears. According to this view, personality tests are like ghost stories. They're perfect with hot chocolate and a campfire. No one can doubt the popularity of personality tests. We all want a quick insight to ourselves and an easy way to categorize others, but even the strongest proponents admit that there are five essential problems with personality testing. The first challenge is scoring the tests. If you use the Chinese zodiac, your personality is determined by the year of your birth, your birth month, and the time of day. But when interpreting the data, you might also keep in mind time zones, lunar cycles, and the alignment of stars. If you tell a story, as in the thematic apperception test, themes must be identified and patterns explained. If you are gazing at ink blots, there's no end to the possible alternative explanations. Many personality tests get around this by offering multiple choice or forced choice questions. These objective tests are not as iconic as looking at tea leaves or other projective tests, but scoring is fast and easy. Objective tests are only objective in scoring. Independent observers can all agree on the scoring of the test, yet totally disagree on what the test measures. Projective tests are more consistent. No one can agree on how to score them or what they mean. Next, we'll look at how personality tests are misused.